another idea I had on it was to then you state your claim. In other words, you're in their suit, but now nobody has come forward and said they have a claim. So it seems like that's an ideal time to come forward and, and make a claim that the case is based on a false claim or a barrack. Well, John, let me ask you this, John. Now, are you saying state your claim or are you present your claim at that time? Because Yeah, I was going to say there's quite a big difference between yeah. what I'm saying there. Yeah, because uh, when you're in their court, you can't state anything when you're in their court because they don't hear you, you know, uh, uh, when you're in their court. So you couldn't state it. Now, if you got your claim already recorded and everything else, you can present your claim. And, and present your, cause see, your claim is going to trump that complaint that you're in there with anyway. So, yeah, you will, and, and like you said, when you state that, they have three seconds to respond. If they don't, then, yeah, hand them your claim. But you can't state it. You see, uh, okay. You have, have all, you have to have it already recorded. You, you know, with the courts and everything else, and uh, and I'm quite sure the judge probably would have it in front of him anyway. And 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 you could definitely have extra copies and hand it to him. You know, when you when you do state your claim. I mean, well, uh, and in sure. England, well, as soon as you, as soon as you presented your claim there, that's it. They don't want to know because they'll say shit. It's already here. It's it's already. Their complaints running now, so they they usually the prosecutor doesn't say okay I'll remove the case because then they're open to liability. But what they do do is that the judge thinks oh, okay well I don't really want to make a decision on a weak complaint because it will get overturned in a heartbeat and I'll look really bad. So what they tend to say is oh brilliant okay so we'll do uh, another hearing but in about six months time they'll delay it all over the place to allow your claim to to come trial to be heard and then they'll say oh, okay so the claim wounded it okay so oh that's really good because that, that was, that's that's what i was going to do anyway for the complaint yeah i was going to let that guy win but if it went the other way they'll just say all ah, right good okay we'll go back to railroad roading mode but that way what it is is they always come out smelling of roses now, Larry said something that made me think. Why, why would you, and I'm just asking this, if you're a man, why do you have to have your claim filed in any court? If you're, in a, if you're anywhere, you're still a man, why couldn't you just say, once they stay mute to your, to your root it's question? It's the rules of their court. They don't necessarily have to hear you. Of which, if you're saying... I don't know if you've you've uh, been to court before when you're filing all sorts of stuff. They don't always hear you. You can say a lot of stuff and they just sort of ignore you. Yeah, sure. You can't put stuff in their suitcase. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll go, don't care who you are, doesn't matter which airport you're at, no random guy comes to you, next to you, in an airport and says, you know what, can you ho just... Put a few of these things in your suitcase, and then we'll take them out of your own. You say, get lost. My suitcase. Get your own damn suitcase. Isn't the exception to that, though, a claim? If you put your notice of your claim into their suit, isn't that a game changer? Yeah, but uh, that, that you're right, but then that's you making a claim somewhere else and then saying, by the way, there's a claim over here. Okay. And not a claim in there claim somewhere else I see okay wow that's yeah, so they don't they don't have control of what's going over there and they think hmm right I just want to see how this pans out first before I make a decision okay wow I, I didn't know that that's, see, yeah. I'm glad we're talking about all this because this is the kind of thing I, I was hoping to elicit for the people who are listening you know what, what you guys are saying you can't state a claim in their case but you can present your claim that's that's very very useful that's why carl says don't say much in there because what's the point they're not going to listen to you anyway of which right. you might even just dig yourself a grave and they'll just say oh brilliant we were only going to give this one guy one order let's give him 10 because he loves right. talking brilliant let's give him 10 orders right right okay let's give him 20. But just say very bare minimum I said before, like in my example, prior to Carl coming to the UK, there was one in August, I think it was, where I prepped the most about their statutes and all these little, you know, I did the most prepping ever possible, so I was prepared for all questions. And, on, and I did it honestly, and I did it all perfectly, but yet I came out with 10 orders. 
How is that possible? Because I opened my mouth. I sat there for an hour, two hours, just opening my mouth. Mm. Do you think ten orders? That's a lot to come out in one place. Yeah. Correct. You open your mouth, more orders. Simple as that. Mm. 